Now, the Wildlife Research and Training Institute, or WRTI, is mapping game parks and water bodies as part of the mitigation measures ahead of the expected El Nino rains. According to the Institute Director, Dr. Patrick Omondi, there is likely to be flooding in the Amboseli National Park and several lakes within the Rift Valley, which may greatly impact wildlife. Now, speaking during a three-day scientific conference organized by the Institute in Naivasha, the director also warned of a possible rise in cases of human uh, wildlife conflict as animals flee from the flooded parks and riparian lands. Hence, the need for proper mitigation measures. The conference brought together both local and international participants who deliberated on best approaches for wildlife conservation and the need to compile adequate data to inform decision-making and policies. The government is already working on uh, the El Nino uh, mitigation strategy. And uh, we will be part and parcel of it to provide data, particularly coming from this conference, we have gotten quality data on the pattern of movements, we, uh, distribution of wildlife across the country. We know where they are real time. There are technologies that we have, uh, uh, we are using to monitor um, long ranging species, wild dogs, cheetahs, elephants, and we'll use that data to also provide it to the tax force that the government is establishing to come up with the mitigation to the impact of El Nino in the sector. The Wildlife Research Training Institute has now developed or has the molecular biology lab that carries out work on DNA, both for the bushmeat, uh, for the ivory, and the rhino horns.